What's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm working on the Play Choice 10. I picked up this machine about two years ago. Uh, well, guys, as you can see, I'm at Midway because we're picking up the Play Choice. Six hours later. You got it? Yeah. Whoa. Uh oh. I you said you had it. <laughs> <laughs> you got us in. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Dual monitor <laughs> setup of the Play Choice 10. So you get a little bit more information on the top screen. Very cool. I like this one a lot. Super happy I picked it up. I do have two other videos of me restoring this one here. So far, what we've done is I replaced this guy back here. I needed a light, and then we just did a full revol on the control panel. Right here, we did new buttons, joysticks, and an overlay. So that video is up on the channel as we speak. But I still have to do T molding and then these side graphics right here. All torn up. This side's torn up, and I believe this side, not too bad. It's not terrible, but I do have two graphics to put on it. There is some, there's like writing and stuff. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the... Yeah, I guess you can kind of see some of it. But I was told that this this side is vinyl and then the sticker's vinyl. I thought this maybe was, was paint, but I'm not 100% sure. I guess you can see on the, on the edge there. I was just gonna maybe try to paint. I mean, I can do some repairs and stuff like that, but... Some of the gouges here and little scuffs, and down here it has damage as well. So I'm gonna try to remove all this T molding here because this is all messed up. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out of this channel. I do want to get these to light up. These aren't currently lighting up, and it does have a pretty good hum, which you can hear back here. I've heard it might be the power supply and you could kind of hear the monitor humming as well. I do have like a cap kit that I can possibly install. I don't know how comfortable I feel putting the cap kit in. I'll have to do some more research. But check out the games on this Play Choice 10. Get excited. We got Mike Tyson's Punch Out, Ninja Gaiden, Golf. We got Super Mario Brothers 3. Excite Bike, Dr. Mario, Mega Man 3, Contra, Metroid, and Pro Wrestling. So pretty good selection. That's my main reason why I wanted to pick it up. I was like, it has awesome games in it. There's a few I would switch out. Thinking about maybe getting one of those. Um, you could put like a Nintendo cartridge in one of the slots. It like put the PCB board in and then you can put a Nintendo cartridge. So then essentially I can just get an EverDrive and have all the NES games on there. But this being a dual monitor play choice, it has some unique stuff with some of the games. But we're gonna get into some restoration right now. I'm gonna see if I can take some of this team molding off and see how it looks. Let's get into it. So I just got a flathead screwdriver and was prying up on the team molding. For the most part, it came up pretty good. It was glued in the top back here, so I had to use a little more force to get it out of there, but it popped off just nicely. So with the top part down, it tackled over here and it just kept snapping off. It was so brittle. I was getting frustrated just trying to lift the T-molding out of the groove there. So then you can kind of see some of the molding is stuck in the groove. I came back with a different tool because this was not working. So grabbed a little pair of pliers just so I could grab that little lip that was in there. And then pry everything else out. And it seemed to come fairly good. Again, they glued the bottom here. So I was having a lot of trouble getting this out. And it just kept snapping and then I had a piece of it in there. So I got a little paint scraper. I'm trying to pry it out. Come on, almost there. Man, that was annoying. Whew. Okay, that side came out fairly easy. The top and then the very bottom were just wedged in there, so I had to get like a paint scraper and get in there. So we'll see how the other side goes. 
Yeah, definitely a lot better with this little paint scraper here. Plus this side didn't have as many chip outs and breaking on it. So it was able to pull up quickly. And this stuff is so brittle, it's just, it just shatters. Now, of course, all the front facing stuff came off and again, they glued this bottom piece on here. So I'm having a heck of a time to get it to come off. And what I do notice is that they trimmed part of the team molding here so it could bend around the corner, which I might have to do for the team molding I'm putting in now. both team moldings off with the clean channel there. I got my replacement right here. So hopefully that that's the right stuff. We'll see. Okay, so I wiped it down a little bit with the Windex just to kind of see what I'm working with. And certain parts you can see where the vinyl is. Let me show you. So especially on these edges here, you can kind of see it peeling back right there. So this is the black, it's just the vinyl, but you know, you can see Chief right here, like kind of carved in. I don't know about this stuff here. Maybe I can get some of this off with a magic eraser. And again, you got more kind of stuff carved on the side. I mean, from a distance, yeah, you're probably not gonna notice it. The main thing is this here. I'm curious too. I have the new ones here. Do the new ones have holes where these bolts are? Because if they do, that's great to help me <laughs> line up the decal there. I might have to use a heat gun to soften the adhesion because I tried peeling it and it's just leaving vinyl left over. So I don't know, we're gonna have to try to figure this out to get it off. And again, probably depending on where this gets set up permanently, you know, this side is probably gonna be up against the wall and you'll see the other side. So, and again, it, it gives it some character having some of the graffiti on there. If I could get the lighter stuff off, that's fine. You know, the carved in stuff you don't really notice. So we'll see. It's just, it's just one long one. All right. Hopefully it's long enough, right? So I figured I'd start at the back of the machine there and work my way down. This way it's just flush at the back and then fitting all the T-molding into the track. I'm just gonna use my hand to mash it in there. Later on I do get a mallet, which works a lot better. And then just bending it around this curve and it seemed I missed a piece of T-molding in there. So I came back with a little paint scraper and had to scrape this baby out. There she is annoying piece and then it fit in nicely again it went around these corners fairly good I don't think I have to trim anything on there to have it hold its shape but once I get down to the bottom it's another issue I would say and now I'm just trimming it with a pair of clips here cuts fairly easily and then just mashing it in with my hands So this is the part I'm talking about. I might have to trim back that little lip on this corner here. So it's easier to bend around the corner and I'm definitely gonna have to use some glue. I need a little bit of glue or something right there to hold that in. Sweet, so that went in fairly easy. I got this probably about two years ago, so I'm glad it's still flexible. This should be enough, I hope so. We'll see. There's the cut end. All right, we use this one up top. I think we got it. I wasn't using the mallet. 
love you for. Again, I'll have to maybe use some glue or something to get it to stick under here. So we'll see. And here's how much I had left over. So there's certainly was plenty to do the front. And man, what a difference the T molding makes. Just popping with that nice white and fresh and clean. Man, it looks good. I'm excited. We're gonna get the side decals on. But from that straight on perspective, look at that, so clean. Nice, went on good. And again, I'm not too worried about, I guess I can go in and some of these little nicks that are close to the T-molding, maybe a little magic marker will do the trick there. And I'll come back with a mallet. Some of this is still sitting up, so. I don't know if I want to pop this up and just do these touch-ups, but just to get the, the molding on. I think, think it looks pretty good. Pretty exciting. Got this little paint pen. Let's see how it does on some of these here instead of a Sharpie. Look at that. Now this certainly works pretty good. It uh, draws your eye away from all the chip outs at the bottom here. You know, I don't know if this is gonna be pushed up against the wall. Maybe you won't even see it, but it's more of a concept and yeah, I'd say it works. Moving on to peeling this sticker off, it just came off in parts. It would rip in sections and I couldn't get a good peel up on it. Try a little hair dryer action. Now this worked a lot better with the hair dryer because you're heating up that sticker. This way you're able to peel it up. The only thing, it just took quite some time. There were some gouges in the decal you can see there. So it almost separated at those gouge points. So I had to take it off in sections. But once you got a little lip right there that I could start pulling. There we go, there we go. Got a little, once you get a, once you get a little that you can pull on. So I'm gonna try to heat up the surrounding area and, Slowly pull on it and see if we can get it off. So a little bit of the heat gun persuasion here and going slow. But you see it's almost coming off in strips. So if we gotta go strip at a time, I guess that's how you have to do it. Well, it's slow going, bud. We'll eventually get there. The heat gun definitely works for sure, so definitely recommend that. All right, now that we have the method down, we're just gonna keep hitting it with the heat gun and peeling up slowly, and you guys can enjoy the process. dryer and a little bit of patience now i just have to do <laughs> the other side ah but no god please no no turned out awesome i'll maybe go back with a little bit of google on i can use some of the windex and uh yeah i'll have to see if the holes are already pre-cut to line this up that'd be great okay i got the uh decals here i'm just kind of curious to see if they have the holes cut out 
Let's open this up. Ooh, they do not. <laughs> there it is. I mean, technically you could just place it on and then, I don't know, cut around it. I mean, I'm open to suggestions. So pause right here. We figured out how I think we're gonna tackle this is I can mark where all the bolts are and then we're gonna come back with some type of like hole punch maybe you, you would use in leather working and you can just hit it with a mallet and get a clean circle where those bolts are. And then I can just line it up and put the decal on. The only reason to have these bolts come out is if you're taking the monitors out. So to line these up though and pre-cut the holes I don't know. We'll see, I think this will be the last step, so leave your comment down below, what should I attempt? And it's great, I uh, put all my Patreons on here when I had gotten the play choice, so everyone's still up there. I'll leave you guys on there. Much appreciate your support as always, so you're part of history, me picking up this cap. Sweet guys, I feel like we got a pretty good amount of work done on it and know where to go from here. It's definitely been nice to work on the play choice. I have neglected it. It's been here at mom's house. So I'm glad I could get over here to work on it for a few hours and get it looking pretty pristine here. So, so I'm excited. You guys let me know in the comments if you guys worked on arcades before. You got some tips. Certainly can use some direction moving forward with this one. If you guys missed the builds of part one and two, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Part one was kind of cleaning it up, getting it in here, and part two was the control panel. Subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss awesome videos like this DIY stuff, and I do awesome top 10 list videos, all the good stuff, so appreciate you guys if you wanna watch more content from me. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. As always, guys, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. We'll see you next video.